you see it across the globe. From Africa to Asia, Europe to America. Young climate activists demanding action. What do you want? Climate justice! When do we want it? Now! In India, it's the first protest for twin sisters Ashir and Assis Kandari in almost a year. Like so many places around the world, the pandemic has put mass gatherings on hold in New Delhi. That hasn't stopped these sisters. We are here to stay and we are going to keep on fighting until we get our right to breathe and our right for clean air. They're fighting the expansion of a metro line and trying to save thousands of trees. Living in a country like India, you don't need to get introduced to it. You step out of your house and you feel the direct you know, effects of pollution, air pollution. Another thing is that you get severe heat waves. This was the hottest winter and that the coming summer is going to be much more hot than the last time. And it's just a cycle that continues year after year. How do you push things forward? How do you make change happen, do you think? I think it's taking it day by day. You go in with local goals, you know, you need to try solving the problems around you. In southern Thailand, Kyria Ramanya is fighting to protect her village and a 15 mile long pristine coastline. The government wants to build a multi billion dollar industrial zone, endangering not just the environment, but a way of life. If the project happens, the beach will disappear. We will lose our land and access to the sea and won't be able to continue fishing. It's not only about fishermen, it means every living thing in this area. Air, human, crops, fruits and natural resources will all be affected. We don't want any development that destroys natural resources. Kyria's letter to the Prime Minister last May, pleading for the project to be scrapped, went viral on Twitter. She and the local children put on plays to highlight the plight of their village, and it worked. The government put the project under review. Scientists warn that global emissions have to be halved by 2030 to avoid a climate catastrophe. British teenager Maya Craig took her message to the Arctic last year. I was actually really angry on that trip because I could see the Arctic melting, the ice flows melting, the sort of glaciers falling apart. She started a charity to bring more teens from ethnic minority backgrounds into the climate movement. We joined her and her volunteers planting oak trees. I truly believe that people have no reason to care about the environmental crisis if they've never really spent time in the countryside. Um, so I think building those relationships are really important. Dedicated and passionate minds from different backgrounds and countries with a common goal to save their future. Kelly Kobiella, NBC News, London.